Earlier this month, the Duke of Sussex announced that he would be releasing a book about his life in the public eye, which was branded a definitive account by its publisher, Penguin Random House. Then, last week, reports emerged that Harry had actually signed a four-book deal and that at least one of them would be released after the Queen's death. However, his spokesperson refuted these claims, branding them, false and defamatory. Meanwhile, there is also talk that Meghan may be planning to release a book about wellness. Pod Save the Queen is hosted by Anne Gripper and features Daily Mirror Royal Editor Russell Myers. Mr. Myers said he is sure, we don't know the full story, and argued that, if the reports of the subsequent books are true, it will be, very, very controversial. That said, he did not think it was, beyond the realms of possibility, and asserted that he does not believe Harry will stick to just the one book in his lifetime. He listed off a stream of other media in which Harry has attempted to put his side of the story across, including different book, a podcast, two TV interviews and his own mental health series. Mr. Myers said, what? He's just going to do one book and leave it at that? I don't think that will be the case. I don't think they can help themselves for want of putting their story out. What have we had? We've had Finding Freedom, the podcast, James Corden, a couple of Oprah shows and now this is going to be the definitive account from Harry. I mean, it won't be the last, almost certainly. Finding Freedom was a book written by Omid Scabi and Carolyn Durand and released in August last year. It was put forward as Meghan and Harry's side of the story when it came to their falling out with the royal family. The couple initially denied having anything to do with it, but Meghan later admitted she had allowed a friend to speak to the authors. Prince Harry then did an interview with his friend James Corden, a light-hearted segment in which they rode on an open-top bus discussing things like the crown and Meghan's nickname for Harry, but also issues surrounding Mexit. The couple then did a two-hour CBS special with Oprah Winfrey in which they properly delved into their reasons for leaving the firm. The most shocking allegations made in this interview surrounded issues of race and mental health, but they were also criticized for numerous inconsistencies. Prince Harry also created the doc series, The Me You Can't See, alongside Oprah for Apple TV+, which focuses on mental health but also features Harry opening up about his own experiences. Harry also appeared on Dax Shepard's podcast Armchair Expert in which he made comments about his family that were likely to be hurtful, including claims of genetic pain, passed down from his father Prince Charles and the Queen before him. Mr. Myers said the idea of Meghan bringing out a wellness book is, neither here nor there, adding that she, no doubt, wants to, dip her toe, into the literary world. Meghan has already released a children's book called, The Bench, which was inspired by Harry's relationship with their son Archie Harrison. However, the royal expert argued that Harry releasing this memoir and potentially more later could damage his relationship with his family beyond repair. He said, why on earth are they going to want him there or even speak to him? You know these are real issues that when he is there in the fold, I saw some commentary during the week that William apparently regrets speaking to his brother at Prince Philip's funeral. And you can well imagine this because, I mean, from what I understand everyone wants to take a breather, leave him to his own devices, not react every time there are reports on what he is doing or not doing.
But it still stands to reason as to why they would want to even entertain him if these book deals are true?